Hi guys, um, this is Alan from Classic Financial. How are you today? So uh, for today, I'm actually gonna use the um the parabolic and MACD to trade in a trend market. So previously, I've talked about how to use it to trade in range market, but then for today, I will use the same strategy to trade in trend market just to show you the um how you use this strategy to, to trade in um, trend market and then um, I'll, I'll be trading in a, a, a midterm option today which is a 10 minutes option so um, just to show you how um, just the points that you need to keep in mind when trading with a um, slightly long term option so well, um, let me set up the indicators first and then um, I will um, show you the detail on the topics for today so okay so well, um, go to technical indicator Yep, click on that. Okay, so well, we select the parabolic, which is the first indicator we're gonna use, and open the drop down. Okay, open the drop down for that. So for parameter for um for the parabolic, we are using a zero point zero five and zero point one. Okay, so get that down. We go to oscillator. Okay, so well, we select the MACD. Yep, and then open the drop down for MACD as well, just to change the parameter. Okay, so for parameter, we are using a 5, 35, and 5 parameter. So again, EMA1 is 5, EMA2 is 35, signal is 5. So now we are all down. So the last thing we need to confirm is the chart period and option period. So for today, I'm using a 5 minutes chart to trade with a 10 seconds option. So again, 5 minutes chart to trade with 10 minutes option. So now we are basically all set and then well just gonna talk about a bit on the trend direction here. So for today I'm not using a simple moving average, but then I still can tell the trend direction here by looking at the um the overall direction of the candlestick. So you see now it's heading upward. So just to put another confirmation there, I will be using a MACD. So take a look at the MACD at the bottom there. So now you see that the two lines in MACD is actually um, it, it was below the zero line and at this point here it goes above the zero line and then from there I can see that um, okay the trend now it was in a downtrend and then there was a uptrend reversal so now the trend is in a uptrend because the, the, the lines are above the zero line for a period of time so um, that, that's the confirmation I get from the MACD and that is another function that um, you can use the MACD for so you can use it to, to identify a trend direction so okay so now I identify a trend direction next I will um, I will place a trade okay so well um, I will place a trade first and I will explain it to you how I do it so um, just make sure the chart period and option period is set to the to the to the right one so five minutes chart with um 10 minutes option periods so yep i placed the trade so um as i mentioned just now i confirmed that the market is in a uptrend so during uptrend um i should only be looking for timing to open a high position because the price is going up overall so um the first signal i'll be looking at is well um the the signal from both indicator is actually around the right um around the same timing so um, first is actually from the MACD, so it's a little bit different here. So the first signal here is from the MACD. So the MACD will cross over, and then the a green histogram is gonna come out. And then um, if I get this signal from the MACD, then I will move on to the parabolic. And then um, the signal from parabolic is actually when the red dot changed to blue dot and that is a bullish indication so red dot means that the price is going down blue dot means that the price is going up so when they change colors it means a downward movement is now developed into a upward movement and that's what we need in a uptrend and that's what we need to aim for timing to open high position and that's why i opened a high position there okay so well um now i um i see that the the, the current price is really close to my entry price and actually um, below my entry price so um, uh, it's not in profit yet so um, I'm just gonna wait a bit here so um, as you see in here I'm using a um, 
a five minutes chart so the price is actually more stable and um, developing more slowly um, than the short term ch charts like um, 10 seconds or one minute so um, I just um, and the price price difference here is of course is less than um, than the 10 seconds chart because it's less volatile so um, the price is not moving as much as what you see in the 10 seconds chart so it's, it's normal for the price to be um, against your, 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 your price uh, against your entry price for a period of time so in here what we need to do is just to be patient so um, because um, sometimes it's, it's, it's normal that the price is against you but then um, you just need to be patient and wait until it, it, it develop into your favorite direction so um there well uh, now you see i still have around seven minutes until the trade finish but um what we, we never know what is gonna happen in this seven minutes well the, the the price might go against me or eventually it's gonna go into my uh, favorite direction so um we just need to be patient here especially we see that the price is really close and then um well if it's um all the way against my uh, my position then um, i might close this trade uh, manually and um just to to minimize the loss but then you see here the price is actually really close um and then i i i i honestly don't know what is going to be happening next so um i decided to um to 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 hold the position here and just to let it run and then um, just hopefully it's gonna end in my um, my direction. So um, well, it's it's normal for you. Even for me, there are times um, just now there are few times that I almost want to close the option. But then um, I just keep telling myself the price, the current price is really close to the entry price. So um, there are hopes that it's gonna end in my um, in my direction. In, um, to above my um, entry price so um, okay so well I'm still got another half uh, five minutes so um, I'm just gonna wait a bit here even though um, the price is against me but um, again it's really close and um, it's a long term or it's a midterm trading it's a five minutes chart and then um, it's normal for the price to develop in this behavior so um, unless it drops all the way down i will keep my position there so now i will just fast forward the trade a bit until where it's gonna finish so uh yeah let's fast forward a bit so uh yeah it's still against me and um i just need to tell myself um there are chances that it will go back up so um okay it's going even lower so yeah just wait a little bit there so um, still got another two minutes I still got hope there and uh, yeah it's going back up slowly and um, that's my chance there that um, it will end in profit so um, honestly I don't know so uh, we'll see okay so well um, now well now you see that's the um, the intense moment so um, the trade actually end in profit just one second before the trade expired so um, the one second before the trade was expired the price actually went above my entry price and then make this trade um in the profit so um okay so well um now um we are looking at the history here so um i make one trade only so um that was a 10 minutes option and then, um i don't have that much time in the morning so i'm um, only make one trade and then it was ending in profit so um 10 minutes option with 80 percent payout there's um 80 $80 profit so um, okay so again the point for you to look out today is um, when you trade in a slightly longer um, option period just um, be patient because um, as long as the um, the current price is close to your to your entry price there are chances that it will develop back to your um, direction even though if it is against you so um, if the price is um, really close to your entry price hold your position there and just to be patient and then um, just um, try to um, turn the, the trade into profit so uh, yep that's the point for you to remember today and uh, well um, if you do have any question in regards to the trade I make today 
feel free to leave me a comment down there and then I can get back to you with an answer. So well, uh, yep, that's pretty much it for today. If you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. Or if you do have any suggestion on my video or strategy, leave me a comment down there as well and perhaps I can make it into the next video for you. So yep, that's it for today and I will see you soon again tomorrow. Bye!